Hi scholars, it's Mrs. Haddad from Great Hearts Northern Oaks Athenaeum. I hope you are doing well. Today I have a fun project in store for you. Right now we're all spending some time at home and you might be finding yourself with some extra time for some new projects and hobbies. So tell me what are some activities you've been doing? Tell me in the comments below, what have you been doing to fill the time? I can tell you that my family, we've been going on lots of walks. We've been exploring. We're even building a tree house right now in our backyard. So maybe I can send you some pictures when it's done. But another thing my family enjoys doing is puzzles. I think the biggest puzzle we did was had over a thousand pieces. So today I thought it would be really fun if I show you how you can make your very own puzzle. You don't need many supplies, but you need a pencil. You need some scissors and thick paper. I am using an old greeting card I found. And if you want some scratch paper, you can do that. Using thick paper is important, but you can use whatever you have, maybe some cardstock, maybe an old cereal box. Like I said, I used an old greeting card. That worked for me. But what makes this project fun is that you can make it your own. The thick paper is going to end up being your puzzle. So you can choose whatever design you want on your puzzle. This is your chance to be really creative. I like to practice my design on some scratch paper first so I can get it just right. If you aren't sure where to start, here are some ideas. Pick your favorite type of landscape, a city, a forest, or maybe an underwater ocean scene. Perhaps there are some pictures in your family album from a trip you took. That could be your inspiration. I chose a sunflower to draw on my thick paper because sunflowers are some of my favorite flowers. So here's what I did. I drew a sunflower. I even, let me show you the background. I made sure everything was covered in my picture and I even added some birds to it. Can you see that? I made sure everything is covered with some kind of design. Even my background has differences when I added the birds. Why do you think that's important? Think about the puzzles you've done in the past. What parts are the hardest to do? The parts that are all one color, right? It's all one color and it's all different shapes and you're trying to put it together. So making sure there's variances in the solid parts is important because it will make the puzzle easier to put back together. But you can use anything to color your design. I chose to use markers because that's what I had. But you can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, paint, or even just a regular pencil. Whatever your favorite type of drawing device will work just fine. You can even decide to mix together and use markers and crayons. You're only limited by your imagination. So after you're finished making your beautiful design, allow it to dry completely if you've used paint, of course. Turn your design over and you're gonna use a pot pencil to draw out your puzzle pieces. You can make this as simple or as difficult as you want your puzzle to be. Think about jigsaw puzzles. What do all the pieces look like? What kind of shapes are there? How do the pieces connect? They all vary in shape and size. I'm going to show you, I made some different shapes and you can see my, I'm going to hold it up really close so you can see my pencil marks. Can you see my pencil marks? And that's how I'm going to cut out my puzzle. You might want to ask an adult to help you with this part. You can even ask an adult to look up some templates or puzzles and use those as a reference. For my younger scholars, you might make some simple straight lines, kind of like a grid. That might be a little easier. But this will be easier to put together and also to cut. You can make this as many squares as you want. The next step is to carefully cut all your pieces out. You will end up with pieces like this if you made jigsaw pieces. So I cut off one piece. Here's a jigsaw piece. Or if you choose to do a grid, it would be some square pieces. Once all your pieces are cut out, have fun putting your puzzle back together. Challenge your family to see if they can put your puzzle together or see who can put it together the fastest. If it's not too many pieces, you could even mail it to one of your friends. You could mail your puzzle, that would be fun. You are so creative, I know you're going to create some great puzzles. 
I am always so impressed by your drawings and craft projects that you make at Athenaeum. So send me a picture of the puzzle you created and I will share it with your friends. I really enjoyed this fun project with you today. Stay busy, stay well, and we will see each other again very soon. Thank you.